Hey everybody, this is Jay Fish here at 24, back with episode 3 of my Nova Skin How To series, and this is episode 2 of the Texture Packs, and as you can see right here, I'm on the Texture Pack homepage, ready to go. Yesterday I showed you guys how to do the, uh, the mobs here, we did a, we modified a creeper and we saved him into our demo pack here. Sorry about the noise in the background, that's my brother, he's doing an art project. He's only, uh, four years old, so, he's gonna be kinda noisy. Um, so today, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna actually not do texture packs on these other things that aren't really in the actual game, but I'm mean, today I'm gonna show you how to every, edit everything we have left, left, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna show you more of the zipping and all that stuff. So, um, let's do, let's do something, let's do, let's just do a chest. Let's see what we can do with this chest. We're gonna click on the chest and we're gonna edit this chest. I've actually have not edited a chest yet, so it'll be fun. Down here you can see chest lid, chest knob, chest below, <laughs> chest below. Alright, and let's just look inside this chest. Let's start editing this chest. So, again, it's really just the same as the, uh, thing, as the mob editor, and that you just pick here. You can pick random, pick a color, you can pick it random. Um, you can do the transparent. I think these will support transparent. No. Oh, wait. Yep. Look. Transparent. The chest does support transparent. There you go. So if you want to transport transparent side of your chest, you can do that. Like all this transparent. Blobs of transparency. That actually would kind of be cool. Like an acid is kind of corroding it away. Or something that's kind of cool. And then, as I said, you can do the random, pick a color, any color, and start drawing on there as it does the random pixels as it is in the skin editor and the mob editor. And then, oh, we can do a transparent ellipsis. I've never tried this. Oh, see, look at that. It's kind of like a ellipsis of transparency. That's kind of cool. See. That's really cool. And you can do a rectangle with it. And the line. That's pretty cool. This is one messed up chest. I wonder if I make this go away, chest lid, if you can design the. Yeah, you can design what that looks like. So let's make that kind of look fiery. Because I think that'd be cool. So let's go down here. Pick like a fiery orange color. Alright, let's pick a fiery color. Like that. Add a fiery color here. Like that. Make it like a fiery ellipsis. Fire Eye, the Eye of Sound. Fire Eye? Oh, I see you. There you go, now you got the Eye of Sauron in your chest. Freak everybody out. Frodo, don't open the chest. So there you go, now save that. Save. Take our pack. Demo pack. And save. Alright, and close, and back to editor. You can see it opens another tab, so I just go back and close that out. Alright, now we did chest, that's up there in items. And blocks, see blocks are interesting. They do something that not everything does, but, so if there's something that has the same texture on all sides, let's do like, I know stone does it, let's try, let's try dirt. No, I, I want to do wood, so let's do... Let's do oak wood. Where's oak wood? Oak wood. What? I opened both of them up there. Alright, so you can see how it has the same texture on all sides. Watch what happens when I draw on one of those sides. It moves it to all the sides. So all sides that have the same texture, all parts that have the same texture will correspond um, because that's how it is in Minecraft. All the same features are here. Line. And all that stuff that we had in the other one. Yeah, I want to do like a rainbowy, like, 
purplish color. And then, uh, let's do like greenish turquoisey. And then we're going to do a rectangle. There you go, that's our tree. That is some messed up wood. And then we can do like an ellipsis here. And there you go, some messed up, Goodbye. messed up wood. Goodbye. And you can add some lines to it of different colors. The eye of Salmroth. Salmroth, yep, the eye of Salmroth. Let's add some lines. There you go, that is a... Messed up tree. Let's save that to our demo pack. I'm really interested to see how these look in the game when I show you guys how we can just transfer it right into the game. Alright, and close. Alright, let's open the editor again. Close out of that other tab that it opens up. So you guys can change torches, redstone dust, fire, that's another animated one. Levers. So there you go. Coco. And then you come down here and these are the little tools. So these are all the things that this is how they would look when you have them in your hands, you know. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Um so let's go down here, let's edit a something that we would hold in the game. Let's edit our, you know, iron sword. Let's change how it looks. So here is our iron sword. As you can see, it's a little bit different because it's kind of on a 2D sort of mosaic. It's only got one deep. Um, so, as you can see here on the side, if I color, yeah, done. If I color one block, it changes the whole thing through. So it's the same on both sides. And we can undo that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Apparently, you can animate the sword too. It doesn't really do anything. Look at a cursor. It doesn't really do anything. I don't know why that's there. Alright, let's edit our sword a little bit. So, it's really just the same as everything. So, yeah, we can do this. We sword of epicness, apparently, with lightning coming out of it, because that's how we roll, apparently. Err, scary sword. And that's, we can do our ellipsis with, let's do random colors that one and that one so there's our ellipsis there you go our line and our rectangle so there you go pretty much the same as all the other things let's save that to our demo pack, save. All right, that's saved. And so yeah, um, that is pretty much how you edit it. Next time I'll show you the final things in this, um, and that will be the end of the Nova Skin series. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. This is Jay Fisher 24 signing out.